Okay guys, one of my viewers asked me to do a fridge, freezer, and pantry tour. So okay, let's do this. This is our outside fridge. This is the fridge that came with the house. Um, we have his pickle juice where he keeps, he works in the heat. So he'll take a bottle of that every day. And one of these, out of, he'll freeze and take together. We got our sugar-free monsters. We got a couple of flavors. We got our Zevia. We got grape and cherry cola. We got our ginger beer. And right back there, some friends came over and left their Modelo. We have some diet soft drinks. And then we have our HelloFresh here waiting to be cooked. I leave it in this outside fridge because it rarely gets opened, so it stays a lot colder. Here is our outside freezer. This is the sports of my husband's fishing. There's the half shells, the whole door. I mean, this freezer is packed with fish. So, tons and tons of fish. Let's go over to the little chest freezer, which is getting emptier because we are on a challenge, like a fridge pantry freezer challenge. So I have things like this I bait and I put what's in there. Um, some burger patties. Um, I just have, here's some crab. I was gonna make some ceviche, chicken legs, some catfish nuggets, some rebel ice cream. How'd that still make it out here? Um, just some bagged veggies. That's some berries. Some, we've got a pork loin, we've got some quarters, we got a whole ham when Aldi had ham on sale, uh, just a little skirt steak, some cooked pot roast down there in the bottom from Costco that um, is ready to make, just a top sirloin for any kind of recipe. This is a third of a pork loin I had gotten, I think in February. Let's see. Yeah, I did it, I didn't. Okay, and then we just have some nature's own wheat buns. So that's our outside freezer, sorry. So this is what we have in our outside little chest freezer. Let's head in the house. Okay guys, here we go. We're back in the house. This is my fridge. We really love our fridge. It's a smart fridge. There's Sid's fishing haul from yesterday. That's Roger on the boat. Yeah, they did good. Okay. Let's open it up. And it is pretty full. I did a grocery haul today. I know another one, don't judge me. Garlic paste, Kerrygold, cream cheese. These are keto things. Egg whites, I keep around for making keto tortillas. We just have some different ranch dressing, some lemon juice, some pasta sauces over here. This is my all time favorite creamer. That is caramel macchiato sugar free. It is dirty keto, so if you are clean keto, that's not for you. We've got some sugar free jelly. We've got some more lemon juice. Some, this is empty. Okay, well this goes in the garbage. Thank you for helping me clean my fridge out. We have some a regular whipping cream, and up here we have our sugar free whipping cream. This is some pizza sauce, some marinara's. This is some Primal Kitchen Ranch. We just had some different ranches. We're chronic for opening new ranches. We just have some hot sauces. This is some the jelly we got at KetoCon. Um, this, I, not for me. <laughs> Here's my yeast. I'm gonna use that for the new bread recipe I just found out. Found. I have some sugar-free Hershey syrup. I put that with some almond milk. Mm, 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 good to go. So this some whipped cream when the kids come over and then they like this honey barbecue sauce. So in here we keep pickles. Here's his backup creamer. There's my heavy whipping cream way back there in the back. Um, we keep a lot of pickle juice, like I said, because he works in the heat. These are some dill slices. I got some chicken broth back there. Our almond milk. Um, just keto things. There's some onion and bell pepper that I've cut up and used part of in a recipe. And I'm gonna use the rest for another recipe. We got some two good yogurts. We just have some miscellaneous. There's a part of a this I'm going to make with some ranch, some ranch powder and it's going to be a dip for my cucumbers. This is the dough from the Keto Hot Pockets that I made, that the extra dough you can use for pizza. So this is gonna be a pizza this week. This is a lemon pound cake, jicama. We are gonna do keto chips and keto fish and chips. So I'm going to make fries with this in the air fryer, but I just got two more out today. I've filmed a lot. Here are the leftover breakfast from the Keto Breakfast Collab. So you guys will probably, hopefully you've watched that video. 
it, it's going to premiere out tomorrow morning. Um, we were saying nine, but we kind of decided around seven. In here, we just have some produce, cauliflower, tomatoes, green onions, iceberg lettuce, limes. We've got some Parmesan cheese, just a bell pepper. We've got some, this, the coleslaw for egg roll in a bowl. This is some iceberg I may or just have, may be throwing away. This is for fish tacos. I always like to keep a couple radishes and some onions. And our fridge wants me to close the door. Down here, I just have some cheese, some little smokies, better cheddars. This is grain, a fresh grated cheese, some pepperonis. We always need mozzarella on keto, of course. And I have some ham and provolone in here. The slices are for Sid and Zane and who can't have a little string cheese in their life. So this is my in, inside refrigerator. Let's go ahead. <coughs> and it yells at me when I have it open too long. This one's a little messy. But who doesn't want to open the drawer of their fridge to see keto ice cream in the flesh? A bunch of it. I have some of these real goods. They were on clearance. Just whole chicken, grass-fed beef, cauliflower. These are some fully cooked sausages. I have some from the farmer's market. There's some made stuff that poly rice. <coughs> Those are some shrimp. I got some uncured ham and chicken breast. It's just stuff I got on Woohoo. But this is a pizza crust. I keep my my pecans and walnuts and stuff in here. So these are just some different random. That's some shrimp. Down on the bottom, I have some more. This is a real good. These are uh, snack pizzas, like little size snack size pizzas. Um, haven't tried those yet, but I got them on special. And also another one of those pizzas. We got some. Those are some uh, wing. I mean. The legs of the chicken, chicken legs. I got another whole chicken, some rice vegetables. That is French fries. That is not keto. That is for Zane. Here's some strawberries. We keep our coffee in here. I have a roast. I have another pound of shrimp and some meatballs. So that's kind of what we keep. We are trying to use up all of the items in our freezers this month so that we can clean them out and keep, not keep buying tons of groceries. Now this is my sanctuary of keto yes in my pantry this is my keto sanctuary let me flip this around so i can give you a view so up here this is the non-keto part well this is for my grandkids and it's just company and they come over and since crystal light and there's just some baking stuff up there that we use um on this one i have like the peanut butter and jelly and the condiments that kind of thing i have all these better than bouillons i have three different flavors keep them here those are just some different packets some yeast ranch dressing brown gravy some of these are keto some are not I use Worcestershire there's where I keep like all my sauces and spices and you can see that I have a lot of different items that I keep on hand for different recipes so I can make things so this is my basically my keto shelf so outside the GQs just wouldn't fit so it got made it up here to the condiment shelf <laughs> So we have on this shelf, we have some pure packets. I'd like to keep a few in my purse as well as some stevia. Um, I have some brags. I have apple cider vinegar. I have some nutritional yeast back there. We got a couple of EVOO tuna packets. This was just a low carb marinade that I caught at Walmart on clearance. So I thought it might be good to put a meat in. Some liquid smoke, I love to cook with that. Some apple cider vinegar, coconut aminos. I use those all the time. This is some reduced sodium tamari sauce. Here we got some more Parmel Kitchen. And then we have a little Walden Farms barbecue sauce back there. That I wanna say that was not my favorite, but we have two organic um, peanut butters, two different kinds. Um, and then this is how I, where I keep my xanthan gum. Um, here's my coconut oil. I have some ghee. So I have some of these palmini noodles. Um, I haven't tried these yet, but I also have found these, which are also made of hearts of palm. So I have these in here and I bought some uh, Rouse pasta sauce today. So we're gonna try to see if we can make a lasagna. So that would be fun. Um, this is just some pure for cooking and I haven't used it a whole lot. So I wanna head and went and got me some Swerve to make sure. So I keep Swerve here in all the flavors of Swerve. I have the confectioner Swerve and I have the brown sugar Swerve. So I have all three, the granular. This is a good use for taco seasoning. Uh, Danielle's Diary, she uses that. 
Um, so I have the Lily's chocolate bar. I'm going to be making a chocolate mousse. Why are we not? Why are focus, focus? Why aren't we focusing? Why aren't we focusing? Let me see. I don't know why we're not focusing. Is that better? Okay, I have a Lily's chocolate bar here. And I have some Baker's chocolate. And I have some Lily's chocolate chips. But I always keep my almond. I have almond flour. I have the Vital Wheat gluten. I have oat fiber, coconut flour, arrowroot. Back there, stevia. We have our whey protein un unflavored. We have flax seed, a cacao powder, chia seeds. I also have cacao nibs. They're in another cabinet. This is um, my psyllium husks. This is beef gelatin. Down here, this is just some canned goods. Some of them I can use some keto, like the tomatoes. Um, of course, not the ranch beans, those are SIDS. Some barbecue sauce the kids left when they came over. So we just have our regular standard, run-of-the-mill pantry items. I do use that salmon and that white canned chicken back there for some keto dishes and my white vinegar. Um, down here is just some miscellaneous stuff that is just not in my diet, but it still has the, the rice. So this is what I have in my pantry. So I keep all of these items almost always on hand. So let's go look at one other little spot. Well, maybe two. Up here I have a little bit of baking items on this side just that don't fit. Not all of them are keto, but here's just the like the extracts and what have you. Baking soda, baking powder, that kind of thing. Cream of chocolate. This is my spice cabinet. So as you can see, I have these little shelves that I put in here for my little mini spices. I buy them in this size because spices do go bad. Up here I have tons of the bigger jars of like parsley flakes and um, lemon pepper, uh, oregano. Up here I keep like a lot of these Nor bouillon packs. We, I make a lot of things for Sid with that. And we have some chili powder and some regular salt. And then way up there we have some tahini and some Creole seasoning. Yes, I have to get the ladder to get up to that stuff, but that's where I keep a lot. And here's where I've some of my oils. Getting ready to make a garlic lemon garlic lemon compound butter kind of thing for dipping for fish okay so let's go one more so we're here's where i'm keeping a lot of the goodies that we got from keto con um the keto brick i got a few of those um watch out i'm keto swag um this little pizza cutter thing this is the frosting we have some of the looks they're kind of like cheetos for keto some shake mixes i still have this i have some bars to try for you guys um, there's another one. These are both going in the giveaway bag. Um, some intake cheese that's also going in there. Um, some those are the keto cacao nibs. So we have a lot. This right here is a keto ketchup. I haven't opened yet, but we got that. We got some monk fruit sweetener. The, these are uh, electrolyte replacements, and that's some Australian beef jerky. So here's what I keep in my little keto snack shelf. All right, so that's my pantry. Oh, well, over here, I have pork rinds, but I also have bread, but here's where I keep my pork rinds and some low carb tortillas. So they kind of mix together with the non-keto products. Well, okay guys, that's a tour of my freezers, which I have three, my two refrigerators, my pantry, and a couple of little cubbies that I keep with my cooking supplies, because I cook a lot as you probably know because I post films, I post films, I post videos a lot. So I keep a lot of things on hand so that when I'm ready to make a recipe, I have what I need. And I have very chapped lips. I don't know why it looks like that. Anyways, I'm gonna sit down and relax because this girl has been cooking. I cooked probably 10 hours yesterday and I cooked most of the day today. Because I not only did I make the stuff for the video, I also made a redfish on a half shell and I also did fish and chips. So they were not keto fish and chips, but I have a fish and chips, keto fish and chips version coming up soon. But as you saw that fish in the freezer, there's no reason. There's no shortage of fish in this house. So anyways, I hope you like this video, um, especially the one of you that requested it. <laughs> Give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do and hit the bell and all the things YouTube. And as I say, and I always truly mean, thank you so much.